right, hey guys, She Detector here. So today we're gonna be doing some metal detecting at another island. And this is about two or three days after Hurricane Michael went through, well, went past us. So I'm at an island that I've hunted before. <laughs> And I'm gonna try and show it to you guys here. So this is actually Coin Island, and it is significantly smaller than what it was prior to Michael coming by. So pretty much like right here is where the island ends, and it used to go like way out that way, but it doesn't anymore, this is it. And what's kind of crappy is we are at low tide right now. So what you see right here of the island is pretty much it. Once the tide comes back in, probably in like five hours, all of this is going to be pretty much underwater. Yeah, so while that stinks, I'm actually really excited to metal detect because I feel like a lot of the sand has been pulled away from the island. So hopefully it will have uncovered a lot of stuff. Um, like I said, this is Coin Island, so I do find a lot of coins here, so we'll see what we find today. So today I am out here with my Garrett AT Max. Now I've not used the AT Max pretty much since Garrett came down here to Florida, but with Ringer kind of being out of commission until I get my new knobs in, I figure this is a perfect time to take the AT Max out. And we'll go ahead and do some water hunting. Like I said, it is low tide right now, so I'll be in the water a little bit. The water's actually, I think, 83 degrees, which sounds really nice, but it's kind of brisk, honestly. So yeah, I will be in the water. I'm not gonna go too terribly deep, just because it is low tide and there's probably not necessarily a reason to go super deep at low tide but we'll see what we find i've got my pinpointer in here i do have elsie which is my land or sea pinpointer now she was giving me problems the last time i came out here she wouldn't turn on so as a backup i do have seeker out here with me also pretty much as a backup now seeker is my pro pointer at this is my garrett carrot um, I don't generally like using my carrot in the salt water just because it, it kind of overreacts a little bit to the salt. So we'll see how it goes. I have my digger bag. I got my new shoes out here and I've got my gloves. I'm also out here with my Cedo scoop because I will be in the water and I prefer my Cedo scoop because it kind of filters out a little bit better on land and in the water. All right, so I'm gonna get geared up and we can get to doing some metal detecting. All right guys, so I've got my first target here. So it's ringing up in the 70s-ish. It's kind of jumping around in the 60s and 70s. So let's see what it is. So I was making my way to the other side of the island where I normally find all my coins. All right, so I got it. There it is. So it's a screw cap. Hmm. All right guys, so I just dug a coin. It's a penny, I'm pretty positive. I didn't record it because the signal was jumping all around. But there it is, first coin of the day. All right guys, so I just made it to the, um, the sandy part of the island. I mean, granted the whole thing's sandy, yes, but the part that wasn't underwater. Um, and probably you all have been hearing that Florida's got like a red tide issue going on and this is pretty much it. So all of these fish, there's a bunch of fish kind of lying all up here. And the red tide isn't up where I'm at or where we live, but I'm thinking because of Michael, it pushed a bunch of the dead fish up here. So like, I mean, there's just dozens of them lying all over here where the tide pushed up all the brush. Um, so yeah, it's really sad, but I don't really think there's much that can be done about it, unfortunately. But I'm making my way to the other side of the island. So now if you see this tree right here, right next to it is where I was metal detecting the last time. And that's where those kids were kind of hanging out with me. So you guys remember in the video, there was brush and grass and the little pricker bushes everywhere here. And it's all gone now, all of it gone. All right guys, so I just dug a bullet, which is kind of funny. So literally about two and a half minutes ago, 
a guy came walking past me on the beach and asked if I had found any bullets yet, and I said no. And he proceeded to tell me about how way back in World War II, the military used to practice out on these islands. So it's just kind of funny that after I run into a person talking about that, I find a bullet, my very next target. <laughs> I didn't record it because the signal was jumping all around. All right guys, so I've got my first target in the water. It's ringing up pretty high in the 70s. Well, it was. Now it's kind of jumping around. All right, I got it. There it is. Penny. Right there. This one's not been there too long. It's not all nasty and corroded. Alright guys, so this is pretty consistent in the 50s. And it's kind of like right here near this tiny little washout area. Nope, nickel. It looked like a quarter, and then it turned out to be a nickel. Alright. Again, it was in this little washout area, so like, you can see the water, it comes in, it goes up there, just a little bit, a couple of feet, and then it washes right back out, like right in this little funnel. So I'm going to hit this little area, and just make sure I don't miss anything. Alright guys. So this is pretty solid 73, 72. So let's see what it is. It's probably a quarter if I had to take a guess. Ooh, it smells. All those dead fish. Uh, there we go. So that is not a quarter. Uh, it could be a dime maybe? I don't know. Because the pennies generally get nasty and corroded with like, I don't know, barnacles built up on them. The dimes don't though, so I'm thinking this might be a dime. Alright, so I moved back up on land. So it's, you probably can't tell, but the water is kind of choppy right there. And I can't go much past the breakers because I'm missing the little cap on this um, little connector right here. So I can't get it, I can't completely submerge the machine in the water. <laughs> so I didn't bother to check it before I left the house. So there's something here that's also very grunty. <laughs> Alright, so whatever it is, it's not that deep. Let's see. But it does have that grunt to it, so I'm not expecting it to be anything amazing. I found it. Nope, that's not it. <sighs> Let's see. So it's something right over here. There it is. There it is. Yep. Big old chunk of iron. Okay guys, that is a solid 31, which is garbage, but 
we'll go ahead and see what it is. It's not that deep, whatever it is. There it is. Big old stake like nail. Jesus. Alright guys, so I've got another target here. Kind of seems like a decent target. And it doesn't seem too terribly deep. So let's see if we can find it. Of course. Uh. There it is. All right, so it looks like a dime. Yep, it's a dime. So hopefully you guys can see that. See the little silveriness to it. Now it's not a silver dime. That's just what they look like out here on the beach. So that one's been out here for a while, it looks like. Yep, all right. All right guys, so there's this big chunk of metal sticking out right here. So this, I do believe, used to hold a sign up and it no longer holds a sign up. So I'm gonna move it up here I'm going to throw it in this brush um, because I don't want anybody getting hurt. There's a couple of kids around here, there's pets that come out here, and I'd hate for somebody to, I don't know, fall and harpoon themselves on it. So we'll get that out of the way. Alright guys, I got pretty solid 60s target here. Hopefully I can get to it. There's all these roots and stuff right here, so we'll see. Uh, I missed it, but it should be like right in here. I think I found jewelry, guys. I do believe I have found some form of jewelry. So that is definitely a heart, and you can see it better over here on the other side. That is a heart for sure. Uh, I'll have to clean it off. I don't, it looks like it's kind of Corroded, possibly? I can't tell. But it's jewelry! My first jewelry in a while. I couldn't tell what that belonged to. If it was from a bracelet or an earring, I don't know. It was in the 60s, so I don't think it's silver. All right guys, so here are all my finds from my hunt today with the AT Max. So I found a big giant nail. This is probably like four and a half, five inches big. I found a couple of pieces of iron. I found one regular bottle cap and then one screw cap. And I found a bullet today. This is probably like a 22. I mean, it's super small. So, yeah, I think it's a 22, but there's really no way I'll ever be able to tell just because it's so corroded. And then I found one nickel, two dimes, and four pennies. And this, was it this one? I think this penny here was actually the one that was encased in all of that black stuff. I thought it was a dime, 
But nope, it was a penny. I was able to get it off, and there it is. So four pennies. And then this is the little piece of jewelry that I found today. So it's corroded, which lets me know that it's not silver and it's not gold. And I know you're probably looking at it thinking, well, it's black, so it's got to be silver. But no. So I tried cleaning it up a little bit, and some of it actually chipped off here from the side. So you can see there that it's definitely not silver. I mean, it chipped off. So, And that's the, like, the outside corrosion part. So, I mean, it's just junk, some kind of, I don't know, iron pendant of some kind. But it does have those two holes in the top. And then there's actually two little holes on the bottom. I don't, so there's the one. And then this one actually has something stuck in it still. So I have no idea what it could have come off of. But it's kind of cool nonetheless. It's still jewelry, so I'll take it. So those are all my finds for my hunt. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I was hoping to find more coins than I did. I mean, granted, I did find a few. But for as many as I found in the past, I was kind of disappointed in the number of coins that I found. But I did find that little heart piece of jewelry, which I still don't really know if it came from like a necklace or a bracelet or honestly, it could have come from a women's swimsuit. You know how they have like the little embellishments. So I'm not really sure where it came from. So I was wearing my new Aleter shoes and they are fantastic. They were just as great on this hunt as they were on my last hunt. And like I mentioned in my last video, because they have the mesh bottom, the sand that gets into your shoes when you're in the water or even just on the beach is able to sift right out. So that's really, really nice when you're hunting at the beach. And I don't know about y'all, but I know my shoes frequently get filled up with sand, especially when I'm in the water. So it's nice to be able to have it filter out all on its own. I don't have to take off my shoes and deal with it. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, here's a clip from my last video where I'm talking about my brand new Alita shoes. So, but what makes them kind of different is the material that they're made out of. So I don't know if y'all can really see me behind here. I can see the camera through here but it's a mesh kind of fabric. So you can see right through it, um, or I can, it might be hard to tell in the camera, but you can see through it. So that makes draining the water out of your shoes really, really easy and quick. And then especially the bottom. So check out the bottom of the shoe. So it's also got the mesh fabric inside and then the whole bottom part of it has the holes in it. So you don't have to worry about the sand getting stuck in there. Cause I had my old pair of shoes I got from Walmart. They were just like $10 Walmart water shoes and the sand would get stuck inside the shoe. So I'd eventually have to take it off and let the sand run out because it would gather here around like the toes and then it makes stepping and walking kind of uncomfortable. So I didn't have that problem with these shoes today, which I was really kind of surprised um, because all my water shoes in the past have had that issue. So I didn't have that issue with these shoes. And then it's got elastic up here to keep it snug, but not actual shoelaces. So you don't have to worry about tying and untying your shoes. Um, and it's pretty comfortable. So a bunch of y'all have sent me a ton of emails and messages asking me about the shoes. So here's the information on them again. They are from a leader and I have the link in the description down below. Now, if you're looking to get yourself some new shoes, you can actually get a discount code for some Aleter shoes between now and December 31st, and it'll give you 15% off. So the discount code is SHEDETECTOR. I also have that in the description down below. So when you're checking out, make sure to put in that code and you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. So the AT Max handled beautifully at the beach. I really, really am enjoying hunting with it. And like I said, because Ringer was, you know, broken, thanks to me, because I went all Hulk on him, um, I wasn't able to use them to go hunting at Coin Island, but I'm really glad that I took the AT Max out again because I did find that little heart piece of jewelry. So that's a win in my book. But speaking of Garrett, I had teased to you guys on my social medias that I was in a magazine. Now if you're one of my Patreon people, you already know exactly what I'm talking about because I posted pictures of it already. But for everybody else, you don't really know what I'm talking about unless you have the Lost Treasure magazine. So I know a couple of y'all have already received your issue, so you already know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, or you're not a subscriber of the Lost Treasure magazine, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is the November edition of the magazine. 
and I am in it. This is my first magazine ever that I've ever been in. So, and I thought it was kind of cool, but I'm on, I'm in the center, so what is that? I guess like the center page or the center spread, I guess, if you will. So, here it is. Check it out. How awesome is that? I can't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh. I know Garrett told me that they were going to use, you know, the pictures and stuff for marketing if they wanted to, stuff like that. And, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever, go ahead. But to actually see it in print is just super duper awesome. I can't believe it. I'm like super stoked about it. I told my dad and my mom about it, and of course my dad was like, send me an autographed copy, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> if you want early access to my videos and some behind the scenes exclusives, make sure you check out my Patreon page. I do have a link to it in the description down below. And you can also click on this I up here and it'll take you right to my page. You can also find links to all of my gear in the description down below, including the Elite Shoes as well as the discount code, so make sure to check those links out. If you liked what you saw in today's video, make sure to hit it with a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel yet, please make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys later.